going on YouTube? So I just picked this up here. It's the uh, EverDrive. I picked this up from uh, StoneAgeGamer.com. So StoneAgeGamer.com. This is my fourth uh, EverDrive. Um, I've got one for the Super Nintendo, the uh, Genesis, and the Nintendo 64. And now I've got this for the uh, TurboGrafx-16. It's the uh, same size as a Hue card. And uh, what this is... Basically, it allows you to put all of the uh, ROMs available for the system on a micro SD. So, I'm not sure if you can pick it up there. I'm using currently a 8 gigabyte card, which is overkill. I mean, all these games, uh, American and the US versions, could fit on a 1 gig card. But um, this is all I can find in Radio Shack, so I picked it up. It was like $6. So, pop it in like so, and then you put this in the system. I've got my uh, TurboGrafx-16 uh, set up here on the chair currently for uh, testing this out and basically it just slides in like so snaps it turns on and then I'll turn on the TV now uh, currently I have this set up through a RF cable um, I could have set up the uh, Turbo Duo, but um, I found this one uh, quicker, the cables for this quicker, so I decided to test it out. I've already tested it out on my um, TurboGrafx uh, Express, my Turbo um, Express, and it works just fine. So um, this is what I've done. I've done a A through F folder, G through L, M through R, and S through Z. And I've placed the uh, games in there. Um, you press the uh, 2 button to go inside the directory and um, I've got American and uh, Japanese games in here uh, Adventure Island um, Aerial Blasters, uh, Air Zonk, uh, great great game, um, Alien Crush uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, what else we've got uh, Bloody Wolf Blazing Lasers Bomberman, you've got Bonk's Adventure, Bonk's Revenge, Bonk's 3. I mean, tons of tons of uh, great fighting game. I mean, um, games for this system. Uh, tch -tch -tch. Cyber Core. Uh, Darius Alpha. Great, great game. And uh, you press 1 to get out of there. Got some more games here, so on and so on. Keith Courage, remember that? I think I do believe that was the um, the uh, game that came with the console when you purchased it. Um, not quite sure, but I believe so. M. Uh, let's see what's in that. Oh, you've got Magical Chase. That game alone, I think it's uh, well over a hundred dollars. If you um, purchase it on uh, eBay, and the good thing is about this is you can load it up, like I said, with the U.S. games, the Japanese games, and once you put it in, you really have no reason to take it out. I mean, you've loaded up the whole library, so you can just leave it in there. That's what I do with the um, with the Super Nintendo, the Nintendo 64, and the Genesis. Um, I just constantly leave them in there, plugged in. I mean, I'll still go out and buy the cartridges um, if it's a game that I really want, but um, you know, I'll always use my uh, EverDrives to play games. So, what else? Let's go in here. Let's pick up a... Uh, let's see. Oh, you've got uh, Strip Fighter 2. That's another rare game. Street Fighter. Let's try that. So you press Run to load. And um, it loads fairly quick. Uh, Street Fighter takes a couple of seconds more because it's a bigger game. But uh, games like Bonks uh, and uh, Air Zonk and um, Darius Alpha, those games load up. I mean, they're under uh, one megabyte or uh, one megabyte, so they're tiny, tiny. Uh, they load up very, very quick. Um, so, like I mentioned, I do have this connected through RF, so the only annoying part is when you're uh, switching between games, you have to turn it off, and the TV makes a lot of noise because it's on uh, channel 3. So, yeah. so, the games load up just fine. Now, I am currently using 
old school TurboGrafx-16 controller, so I do only have two buttons. And if I recall correctly, yep, they're both punch buttons. So I've got no kicks. I've got a low punch and a medium punch. So I'm going to turn it off and that's what i got to deal with for now until I pick up the um, CD-ROM attachment for the TurboGrafx-16. Uh, let's pick... Um, oops, that's the wrong button. Alright, so let's go back here. Mock's Revenge. Now this is an average uh, load time. Um, it's probably like five seconds. Anyway, so that is my Turbo EverDrive for the TurboGrafx-16. Turn off the TV here so it doesn't make noise. And turn it off. And you can pick this up for about, uh, I believe it was $80 on uh, StoneAgeGamer.com. Uh, like I said, this is my fourth one. I really, really like these devices. Um, you know, hoping they make some more for... I know they just released one for the uh, Nintendo, the Famicom. I'm hoping they make uh, them for the uh, Game Boys, the Game Boy Advance, and uh, the Jaguar, and uh, who knows. I mean, all the other cartridge-based systems, it'd be pretty cool to have. So, for 80 bucks, you can pick this up. Um, some of those other games like uh, Magical Chase and whatnot, they're easily over $100, so this is pretty cool to have. You know, you can load it up with the whole library.